As we continue our journey on the House of Da Vinci 2, last time out we had a rather frustrating for me experience where we yeah, didn't see something obvious and I didn't enjoy the puzzle. But I put that behind me and we are going to jump in now. We're going to carry on. We're still in this sort of monastery area looking for bits and pieces, of course. So, some interesting markings here. Whatever could it mean? It's got a, a, a yellow two, a green three. Some sort of key or something there. Okay, that's slides up and down, but we're going to need something to put into this other side, I assume. something these lines All right, I feel like a bit of a cheat there because um like a bit of a cheat there because we didn't really know what to do we just kind of like wiggled the panels around a little bit so not uh the greatest to be honest it's our ornament though and our uh, we need to enter onto here So yellow was two, green was three. We don't know what one is though. Where is one? Ah, blue is one. There we go. There's one. Hiding right there. There it is. If I looked all the way around. All right. exactly are we doing here not entirely sure get them all on here. Ah, 
Oh, okay. Okay. How do I switch? Must be a way to switch these then, surely. There's something I'm missing. Switching them across. Unless I did something like this, and maybe I can move multiples? Oh, there we go. There we go. See, we can do things. Okay, so we'd have to do... Okay, so we need, just need to lift them all up, um, in effect. So... Do something like this. That one's probably going to want to go over to there, right? Then like this. But we're going to want to... I guess we're going to want to put them all, all up at the same time. So this one here is the problematic one, isn't it? So, we're almost going to want to do something like something like this. Okay, well, we got the idea now. We know what we're meant to be doing. It's just the execution, obviously, we need to work on. If we move this across here like this. that to there. And that's going to connect that to there, which is all good. And here we need to connect that to that. So I'm thinking a raise... Can we raise this up a little bit more? Do that, we're going to need to bring this one over to here temporarily. Oh. Uh. Did I just break that? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Okay, hold them together like that, then move that one over there. Now drop this down. But now we need to bring this up. Bring this up to here, slide this across, move this down. Something's still not uh it's still not quite right with that. Let's have a think. I 
think I would maybe do better if we connected these up. there. Okay, almost there. Drop that down. I need that and that to be connected. So how do I... Can I do this? just need to like go to the highest point maybe I'm sure I'm making an absolute meal of this pretty sure The idea here is now I'm going to try and connect all of these tops together. Oh, but I can't do that. Okay, so if I can't connect the tops together, then this one maybe has to just go down to here. Maybe that's it. that then put this one over here like this okay that might be it yeah there we go we got it I would say nailed it but we really didn't nail it we just got it we have opened the door to the secret library things here isn't there they're all sort of labeled by
letters. Interesting room, actually, the way it um, behaves. My blanket, two six. All right, so we really got to kind of let go. All around these bookcases. I'm just going to do it like level at a time, I think. It's probably like the best. Oh, hold on. My thing's appeared, though. Ah. That makes sense. It's the red guys. Interesting. I was in near by the elves. Okay, we can't do anything to interact with the key. Yo, Mika, what's going on, dude? Welcome, welcome, hope you're well. Um, I'm very well, thank you, Mika. Thank you for asking. I am looking for the book. I assume one of these padlocks is going to be different. But I'm not entirely sure. That's interesting. Ah. There we go. I thought he was like, the, the figure was stood in between like this bookshelf here, but then when the key didn't work in one of the locks, I was a bit like, huh? In the 
In the year 1212 since the birth of Christ, Friedrich, the only son of Heinrich Stauffer, to his father's glorious throne arose. By providence chosen, though only 16 years old, clever and strong, he was a king most bold. Challenges were plentiful, but his judgments full of wisdom. Soon many a vassal, duke, or lord swore fealty to his kingdom. Monarch Roger, a patron to the erudite and all the wise men, every scholar, no matter their faith, was welcomed to his realm. His deeds were glorious, his subjects loved him more and more, his dominion prospered like never before. Soon the rumors were spread from the east to the west about Roger, the ruler of Christians, by God himself blessed. This praise reached Pope Gregory, but he froze, irked by hearing of another man as one God chose. Gregory's envy would lead to consequences most dire. No living soul could save Friedrich from his ire. With excommunication being his only other fate, Roger rode to Palestine on a crusade to save his state. Even with his most trusted knights, a dangerous proposition. Journey long, perilous and exhausting, a truly risky mission. Many a good man dead due to illness or fatigue. That was the true terror of the Pope's intrigue. One day, a desert storm came, raged and refused to wane threatening to end both their lives and the campaign. It seemed that for the Emperor's army all hope was lost. Centuries were ordered to find shelter, no matter the cost. At the last moment, the group's scouts spotted a cave. Though ominous and sinister, they must choose to be brave. Roger's men entered the grotto with uneasy feel, making camp in surroundings that were most unreal. Days went by, the storm unwavering, no sign it would clear. Friedrich and his chosen explored their shelter without fear. Delving deeper into their shelter, anything but small. Dark passages lined by pillars receded to a large hall. Friedrich and his company were men loyal and seasoned. But in their hearts was dread, which could not be reasoned. Architecture meant not for living men, vast and bold. Perhaps chiseled by some mysterious giants of old. Distracted from his reverie by a glimmer of light, Roger saw a part of metal buried in the sand upright. A machine, a gate, centuries old, with it he must return. What trove of lost knowledge from it could he learn? What was it that he found? Friedrich, albeit short on time, researched that device. Its power to grant wisdom should more than suffice. Gate to the Temple of Wisdom, the device was now called. It would lead to understanding of deep truths unequaled. In much higher spirits, knights loaded the gate on the caravan. And once again their journey, their crusade has began. The dread lifted, resolve firmer than ever before. No longer fearful of what for them lay in store. No more was the journey punishment meant by the Pope. Now their quest was meaningful, their hearts full of hope. In the end, Roga gained control of Jerusalem without blood spilt. Opened the Holy Land to pilgrims again, 
defensive walls we built. City's crown rested on Emperor's noble head. With wise Sultan al Kamil, he shared his bread. People sang only praise for their emperor once again. With glory and magnificence, he continued his reign. Through the gate to the Temple of Wisdom, Friedrich often went. To learn its secrets, to further knowledge was his lustrous intent. He worked closely with those most loyal, those he chose. Thus, a new order of Knights Noble, Order of Justice, arose. Emperor Friedrich, always at their point, titled Grand Master, felt he did enough to sate Pope's anger, averted disaster. But to Gregory's ears were whispered rumors terrible. Stories about a deal with the devil and lies unbearable. About how Roger's order was built to conceal a devil's gift. And since the Pope believed it, it caused an irreparable rift. Not long before the Emperor was excommunicated, by all the people of faith, he was to be isolated. Residents of Jerusalem who just a year ago called him their savior, now cast him out, the Pope to blame for this behavior. The Emperor by this iniquity was a back taken. All the Pope's intrigues left him quite shaken. When he finally retreated to Italy and his throne, he lived for his order of justice and his land alone. Roger guarded the secrets of the Order, for his enemies would not cease. Wanted the gate more than secure, no longer believing in peace. A plan born both from his genial mind and godly inspiration. To build a fortress for the Order, to be held in awe by the whole nation. To the castle's construction, he devoted his life. Eight massive walls to survive any strife. Eight watchtowers with windows peering over the countryside. Eternally guarded by eight men most loyal and eagle-eyed. Eight sides to the courtyard for the men to meet and rest. In the middle of it all, an eight-sided podium protected best. On this podium, the gate to the Temple of Wisdom was erected. By all the knights, not to be worshipped, but to be respected. So it was created. For both the lost and the wise it did shine. Templum Justitia, the temple of justice, the castle, the shrine. It was quarters of the order by the wise Placentinus foretold. Inside were troves of wisdom and power, more precious than gold. Even for the wise and powerful flies the time. Men became old, children rose to their prime. After the death of Raga, Grand Master first, others came, best of the order, in wisdom versed. One after another silent, hidden, but each of virtue measure, the gate to the temple of wisdom, always their treasure. Generation after generation, the secret was keeping, wealth and wisdom gaining, never relenting, never sleeping. 
But the year 1465 after Christ came, and for the order of justice, the world was never the same. Get in. Grab the book and get out of here. Uh oh. We just caused a rift in the space time continuum. Oh, is that it? Is that it? We were so close to the end after the last one. Ha! Huh. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll be completely honest. I wasn't really quite... I wouldn't say I was, like, massively understanding of what was going on at the end, but I guess the guys in the red are after access. Um, they're, they're trying to find, like, the gateway of wisdom. Hence why they want to use the, um, the like the time travel stuff. We finished it in seven hours, seven minutes, and thirty-nine seconds. Master Leonardo da Vinci says, "Once a work of art is never completed, only abandoned." And we promise there will be new games created by Birdbrook Game Studio. The adventure never ends. Well, surely there's got to be a third, right? There has to be a third. They can't just leave it off like that. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a bit of a, an, uh, um, an abrupt ending, to be fair. Like I said, I wasn't expecting it to end just like that. But um, yeah, quite a short episode then of this this time around on the House of Vinci, guys. Thank you very much, uh, everybody on YouTube. I appreciate it. And until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming.